What is up my stunning mates of YouTube, my name is Ozzy Marcel and in today's video we're going to be looking at Lynx Epic Fresh, the brand new fragrance from Lynx. Before we get into that though, if you like the content I make here on YouTube, please consider hitting that big red subscribe button down below, subscribing to the channel and also if you like this video, do give it a thumbs up. Both help me out immensely. Okay, so if you're in Australia, you've probably been seeing the brand new Lynx commercial for Epic Fresh. It's just another sort of cringy Lynx commercial. They may have been cool back in high school. Actually, they've never been cool, so I'm not even going to make excuses for them. But, you know, their marketing is the way it is for a reason. It obviously helps them sell these products. Marketing aside though, we're going to be looking at Lynx Epic Fresh, and this is Grapefruit and Tropical Pineapple Scent. So. That's quite promising. First and foremost though, the can, the design is quite colourful, appealing to the uh, inner teenager in all of us, I suppose. But yeah, I love it how Lynx have sort of, they've toned down some of the, the marketing a little bit. It's not quite as obnoxious as it used to be. Back when I was in high school, the Lynx ads on TV were usually some bloke spraying himself with a, a Lynx shower and then attracting all these women to him. Like I remember, I think one of the ads was like a guy in like a club and then he sprayed on Lynx and all the women flocked to him. So <laughs> I don't know if they're doing the exact same marketing nowadays. Uh, generally though, so yeah, I'm not going to be making any comments on their old advertising, but uh, yeah, let's just say it's a little questionable. But if it helps them sell fragrances, then obviously they're going to do what they're going to do. Let's get to the smell though. It is classic Lynx, it is overpowering, uh, obnoxious to say the least. But the pineapple on the back end of this really helps set it apart from most other Lynx fragrances. The only other one that I can think of that's sort of like approaching maturity is um, Leather and Cookies. That has like a really nice leather note at the very end of the fragrance, like as it starts drying down. This one definitely has a bit of uh, Malibu, Malibu rum sort of vibe. You know the uh, liqueur that's got coconut and rum. It does smell a little bit like that, but there's a slight astringency up the top. Scent profile aside, I actually picked this one up for $8 Australian at my local Richie's or IGA if you prefer. Um, off of sale, I've seen these go down to about $4. Um, I definitely would recommend it for that price instead of the full retail $8. But I figured because I was going to review the fragrance, may as well pay full retail price. Look, it's not the worst $8 I've ever spent, but uh, it's not fantastic. If you know Lynx, if you know Axe Body Spray, you sort of know what to expect here. There is actually a slight muskiness to it as well, I will admit. It's definitely on the cleaner side as far as musks go. But the main note here I really get is the pineapple, and it's sort of like an overly synthetic, super sweet, syrupy pineapple note. It's nothing realistic, it's not like a fresh, juicy pineapple note. There may be a touch of wood here as well, maybe some vetiver, and yeah, some clean musk. It's not the worst fragrance that I've ever smelled, uh, but at $8, it's a bit of a push. Anyway, if you've ever worn Lynx Epic Fresh before, let me know in the comments below, as I'm always curious to hear what you guys think. And until the next video, my name is Ozzy Marcel, and I'll catch you guys around.